Hi guys, and if you're new to my channel, hi again! My name is Ima and I make videos about Eurovision, so if you like that kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe down below. In today's video, I am reacting to the entry of Albania for Eurovision 2023, which is Duye by Albina and Familia Kelmendi. The chant she does at the beginning of the song sounds very ethnic, and it already sets you in the right mood for the song and catches your attention. I loved the song from that very first moment. I need someone from Albania to explain to me in the comments down below what the thing she's wearing around her arms means because I remember Eugene Rushpepa in 2018 wearing the same thing so I guess it is something traditional with some deep meaning behind it. I love the outfit, it looks traditional and modern at the same time. Right after the first chant, the song completely changes and sounds more modern and chaotic in a good sense. And I love how she interacts with the backup singers so that they end up being a very important part of the performance in the song. Another thing I love about this performance is how dramatic it is. They are there really telling a story and making you feel their pain, because the lyrics of the song talk about forgetting about love and not making it a priority. Or at least that's what I deduce from the song. I also like how the two oldest backup singers are dressed in white, in contrast to the young people. And I like how they hold their hands with Albina. It feels like the seniors are the voice of experience and are at peace with life, whereas the young people are still fighting to make sense out of life. In the video, you can see a lot of fans of this entry among the public, and I think that's beautiful. I love it when artists are supported by the fans. After the chorus, a little instrumental break comes in, and it sounds really cool because it sounds ethnic. But however, the main instrument you can hear is an electric guitar. It is also a quite cheerful instrumental break. And from that point on, the song sounds quite like an anthem, which is the thing I love the most about this entry. Albina has a great voice, she can really sing, she doesn't need the backup singers to camouflage weak vocals. The performance ends with Albina on the floor almost crying, and you can see she's actually quite touched by the song. Now let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, so this video can reach more people and also don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye!